What's up guys, so this is what I got in the post today. Apart from this, I had to go pick this up. But I'll explain, we'll do a little unboxing. Because, why not? It's definitely R3. Let's do this. A bit awkward because every day I get a new parcel and every day it's the same guy delivering it. You must think I'm loaded or something. I'm really fucking not. Um, but let's start with this. If I can pick it up, the R3 tank pad. Um, it's always good to have one of these. Just stop your zip and stuff, scratch it on the tank. I was actually getting a silver one of these where it said R3 and silver. Didn't even know they had a red one. They sent me what? Uh, they sent me an email saying the silver one was having problems shipping or something, would you like a red one that we can deliver, deliver to you next day? And I was like, go for it. I like red anyway, so. This is a the bowl for the headlight. I had to go pick one of these up because I realized mine had blown somehow. It was £6.70. The dealer that I go to rips me off every fucking time. I swear to God. But I needed it, so, and it's easy to fit. Not a problem. Now let's talk about these two. Chain and sprocket. Don't actually need to swap out the sprockets at the moment. They're um they came in a package. Um but they're they're super like it says quality Japanese steel, but it does feel pretty good. No, I'm not gonna lie. It feels all good. But I won't be putting these on the bike just yet because it doesn't need it. But the chain I think definitely does need a swap. I may as well do the sprockets as well, we'll see, we'll see how bad condition they are, but I'm definitely do the the chain, so we're going to move this aside, get this all out of the way, and let's do an unboxing of this. Now, I can tell you, this is heavy as balls, like, fucking heavy. I haven't opened it yet, but yeah, I can tell you it's fucking heavy, so let's, right, let's get into this box right here. Oh, this is an unboxing channel now. Ooh, fancy package. Ooh. Let's just listen to that for a bit. Yeah, sorry. Look how fancy the package is. BRB. It's all luby, so I got gloves. Look at that. So I had to get gold because I thought gold would stand out quite nicely. There's these little things for it. If you can even see that. Look at that. It's all greased up so I don't want to get wash my hands, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> That's going to make the bike stand out so much more. Like the camera, I don't think the camera quite shows how good that looks. That's going straight back in this packaging. Yeah. Some more parcels. Woo -woo. Hey guys, so I got another package here. It is from Savage. Now, I'm going to warn you real quick. If I shut up, you're going to be able to hear some mad weird noise in the background. I'm actually downstairs in my house, and i got the fireplace behind me, and there's a mad windy storm going out. Like, it's nice and sunny, but the wind is crazy. Like, I just had a message on my phone, because uh, I got a news app that said, one person has already died from the storm. Um, it says West Midland Police or something like that. If you can hear this wind noise, I apologise. Hopefully you can't because I'm going to kind of shout. But as you can see, I've kind of already got into this box. And I know exactly what it is. Yeah, let, 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 let's get into this. We're going to start with this bit. So, obviously, if you buy one of these, the packaging isn't going to be as, as messed up as it is now because obviously I've already opened this so I'm a fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loving it the bubble up. Alright. It's 
quite good cut packaging as well. Savage. So this is for the R25, which I've actually never seen an R25. Like I know they exist. Uh, Adrian Nickelodeon was on one on his recent trip to Bali. They're cool bikes. They're basically an R3 and an R125 kind of mixed together. They're quite cool. Anyway, let's take a look at some of this. Let's move this box over. Put that down. Don't worry, I'll give you a close up in a minute. Chill your panties. Oh, one more. Bolt. That's the first thing. So, don't know if you can guess what it is already, but like, the quality of this is outstanding. And the price I got this for comparing to the other stuff is just insane. So, actually, you probably already know what this is. So, basically, what this is is a steering damper. Now you can get the Olin steering dampers, like the long ones, and I got a dial one. They're normally from about 100 quid to 300 quid. This was, I think, 80 pounds, 80 pounds, something like that. And sorry, that, that light is really bright. Look at the quality on that; it is just outstanding, and it's not heavy weight. Like, it's quite lightweight. Immaculate, it looks so so good. Now for the best bit. Yeah, look at this. So they do it in some other colours as well, red, blue, black. I went with the gold because I just thought it looked mint and I thought it looked really good on the R3. Look at that. So it is just I just hit my tripod with my fias. Like, it's just a sticker on there, it's not like engraved or anything. But it is amazing quality. It looks lush. So that's got a bit of weight to it, as you expect. But hopefully, this is going to help the R3. Ooh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Especially at high speeds and stuff. So it's really, it doesn't come with any instructions, as you can see, that's all it's in the box. But it's really simple to uh, install. If you just search up any kind of R3, any kind of like how to install a dial steering damper you'll you'll be able to work it out you twist off the thingy well in the near future in one of the episodes you'll see this getting fitted hopefully if I do it I should do it because I want to see what it's like depends how busy I am really but that basically stick uh, that basically fits to the the frame of the bike there's bolts and then that fits on like that it's just pretty simple, nice and easy. A bit more complicated than I'm actually saying it is, but it's if I can do it, you guys can do it. Because I have no mechanical, I have no knowledge of fitting bikes and stuff. I just do it on the go. But yeah, that's the steering damper that I've got. Looks sweet. Ta-da! What's up, guys? So we got another box to unbox. This is the Vortex clip-ons. I had to get these sent from America. Just because I wanted, like, there's a thread I'm going to link in the description. It basically explains someone that tested the Woodcraft clip-ons, Vortex clip-ons, and stuff like that. So, I thought it was a really good thread. I read, read through it all about three, four times, and I ended up deciding to get the Vortex clip-ons. They're 41mm clip-ons with a 7 degree drop, I believe. They are going to be awesome. The I, In the thread, they sh he showed some pictures. They look great quality. I haven't opened the box yet. I have no idea what this is, what they're actually going to look like in person. Hopefully they're going to look great. I think the ones on the, the R3 at the moment are a little bit... They look a bit cheap and I don't like the way they made it so it goes up higher, the riser. It doesn't look good. So... Hopefully this should eliminate that. And it means I can finally put on my heated grips, R6 throttle tube, and all the other stuff to go on my handlebars. So I can't wait. Let's get into this box. It's got some tape, so I need to go get a knife. Did I even get that? Ooh. Ta-da! 
Oh, shit. There's one of the clamps. Great, I'll open that in a second. There's the other clamp. A little... A little vortex thing on there. Um, the finger my bobbies. And the handle but Whoa. Okay, they're light. And good. I didn't want... Because you get these these plug type things to go on the end, like bar ends. I wanted to make sure there was a gap in there because hopefully my bar end will fit. So here's one of my RNG bar ends. Does it fit? Well, there's a little slit right there. And that fits in perfectly there. It lines up. So hopefully with the grip and when I tighten this, hmm, it's got nothing to screw into. I'll have to see. Hopefully they do fit. We'll see what we can do. I won't bother opening these. It's just like the bar and bits, I think, and stuff like that. Let's have a look at some of these clamps. as well. Oh. oh, I so hope the camera can get the quality on that. Yes. They look awesome. Open the other one. Oh, I love unboxing things. It's so much fun. Jeez, the quality, man. So nice. Yeah, they look absolutely awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to get this the handlebars done. My heated grips are going to be lush in the, in the cold weather at the moment. Hopefully I can get these RNG bar ends on. Um, I'm sure there'd be a way. If you're late to this video and I've already uploaded some other episodes, link in the description to the, the video of where I actually put these onto the bike. And all the rest of the bit, so yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, I've stopped off at Sainsbury's and realised that I actually never did this section of the video where I put the tank pad on. It looks sweet. Kind of annoyed me that it didn't go all the way down here because you had to bend it and it, I just didn't trust it, so I kind of put it up here. And actually, I think that matches the grips. Fucking amazing. The quality on that. Obviously, when I get a chance, I'll do the higher quality camera thing video bit but yeah that looks sweet and then I managed to fit the screen on it's a bit dirty but it looks sweet it's kind of not like a matte black or glossy black it's kind of a tinted black like my tinted visor I think it looks sweet it looks amazing really really changes the bike as well as the solo seat thing obviously I have my that's disgusting or whatever stood on. Obviously, I, I put different passenger pegs on. So you might be like, why have you done that? It's just for photos and things. Obviously, I do ride with the missus on the back, so I do carry the seat with me. But it's only for pictures, because that looks so much better. Look at that. Now, I need to uh, ride down a massive hill with uh, my shopping. Can I find my bloody key? Anyway, guys. Peace.